right now at 3 o'clock, financial expert MJ Harris is here answering your questions. We are so glad you're here. Haven't seen you in a while. I know. I'm happy to be here with the dynamic duo. Yeah, we're trying. (laughs) Hey, so uh, we do have a viewer question from Michelle from Long Beach, and Mm -hmm. it's a little extensive here. She says she is not sure how to confront her fiancé about his money management skills. She says he works full time but asks to borrow money to pay his share of the bills almost every Mm -hmm. month. And then when she tries to confront him about it, he accuses her of throwing money in his face. And he becomes very angry and threatens to break off their engagement. Michelle says she can barely afford to pay her own bills and has to dip into her savings to help him. She says she loves her fiance but can't afford to continue this way. What should she do? <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I got to give a side eye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. The reality is this. You are not your partner's financial safety net. Yeah. Partner is the key word here. Mm-hmm. It may not be equitable. It may not be 50-50. But at the end of the day, whatever you're in, that you're supposed to be contributing, you yeah. need to contribute that. And I think that a lot of people don't understand that. And they think that they're supposed to be the partner's safety net. And that's not the case. Mm-hmm. I think that she needs to very clearly communicate what her boundaries are. I'm going to pay this part of the bill and keep the boundary because it sounds like he's going to keep on pushing and I think that they may want to consider I'm not a marriage counselor but they may want to consider maybe slowing down this engagement a little bit Mm -hmm. until they can get some things clear because why get legally tied to someone who's not managing their money well so every time you're here you talk about boundaries I'm big on boundaries yes it's important like no no yes say it firmly and don't say it with a period (laughs) you don't need the explanation just no (laughs) no I saw him on Instagram and Mm -hmm. Mark what you said MJ that I don't care how successful I am you still owe me money you (laughs) You got to pay me my money if I I loan you money I expect (laughs) that oh maybe a little interest wouldn't hurt MJ why do you think people get into situations like this way she's clearly asking this question and she probably knows in her Mm -hmm. gut that something's wrong but why do people continue is it something from the past I think so I think that when people say yes to things they really want to say no to it's not about the thing it may be that she's saying yes to keep him it may be that she's saying yes because the form of validation she gets from him liking when she does these things and that's what she wants mm-hmm. it's not about the money and I would encourage her to dig a little deeper maybe in some personal therapy mm-hmm. to figure out what's her issue with keeping boundaries and why she's allowing him to you know to put her in this situation really yeah. and if there is a young couple watching right now mm-hmm. of course they were doing so about 3 45 in the afternoon yes what's the best advice you give someone to say okay we want to come together but we're told to keep our finances separate mm-hmm. How do you navigate that? Well, I would say this, and you and I discussed this a little bit earlier. I think that it is very important for every couple. Keep your finances separate. You have a joint account for joint bills. Keep it separate. You don't have to combine the money. You know, gone are the days of keeping your money together. I think that a good boundary around money keeps a healthy marriage. All right. MJ, thank you for all your advice. Come back earlier than last time. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I miss you. As we are too. All right, remember to sign up to watch uh, MJ's upcoming Global Wealth Building online webinar. KTLA viewers can visit watchmjonline.com for a special discount. See you soon. Thanks. Thanks.